Milwaukee, it's the Milwaukee Bucks and the Detroit Pistons. Hi, everybody. I'm Marv Albert alongside Steve Kerr. This one is underway. What are the keys tonight to success for Milwaukee? Well, I think stopping this team, you have to focus on Rasheed Wallace, Marv. He's so good down on the block, but he can also step away from the hoop, knock down perimeter shots. So you need a very long, versatile defender on him. Steve, you were a teammate of Rasheed while in Portland. And at that time, it didn't seem that he was comfortable in, in being the go-to guy, the main guy down the stretch. And that apparently has changed. Well, I think that's why the trade to Detroit was so good for him, Marv. He was able to step back and be a part of a very good team and be one of five guys who could all take over a game at any time. From in close, and a foul is called. To number one, Chauncey Billups. And Joe Smith hits the free throw. Rebound taken in by Prince. He got a piece of that pass. The Pistons are letting everyone get a touch. Marv, he hit a terrific shot there, but you see the defense contesting that attempt. If they continue to do that all night, they'll be fine defensively. And he's fouled by Wallace. Rashid Wallace, first foul. It drops. And Michael Red makes both free throws. The Bucks giving their opposition no room to move. And Chauncey Billups is fouled. He'll go to the line. That's the first foul in the final. Good on the first. And Chauncey Billups sinks them both. Red from in close. Marv, great scorers can beat you so many ways. They can shoot the outside shot, get to the rim, and also get to the foul line. Smith recovers the loose ball. Mason with a tough defense by Prince. To the line. Mason hit the foul shot, and it's a three-point play. Phillips setting it up. One minute remaining in the first quarter. Prince for the three. Boy, I don't know about that call. That's a touch foul. I'll tell you one thing. I never got that call when I was playing. Can't connect on the second. And Tayshawn Prince gets two out of three. Red for three. The perimeter shot is off the mark. Williams steals the pass. Excellent drive to the hoop there. About 35 seconds left in the quarter. A lot of players getting touches on the Pistons. Nice offensive possession, Marv. They just couldn't get the shot to go. 
the Pistons defense has to do a better job sliding over defensively and helping because that's too easy there. 11 seconds left in the quarter. The passing lane played by Smith. Phillips able to get the shot off. Williams from way downtown. The first quarter comes to an end. The Bucks lead by six. Blanketed by Red. Wallace saves the loose ball. They've got to tighten up their defense there, Mark. Poor rotation. Prince came up with a lazy pass, brings it up court. Nice move by Wallace and fires one up. Can't hit for two. Advances up court. It is no good from downtown. And not able to hit, but uh, had lots of room. Yeah, that was nice offensive execution, and those shots should start to fall as the game goes on. Nicely done by Williams. I like what this club's doing now, Marv. They're not settling for that jump shot. That time they get right to the rim. A terrific interception by Williams. Well, that's a nice drive to the hoop, but got to slide your feet and get in front of that guy defensively. Here's the shot by Hamilton. The Bucks did a nice job there challenging that shot, but sometimes that's all you can do. It's going to go in anyway. One minute to go in the second quarter. Red at the basket, and Rip Hamilton called for the foul. That's his first. And Michael Red able to hit from the line. Almost stolen. Phillips posting. Nice move by Smith. The Pistons have to start forcing some perimeter shots. They're giving up way too many easy ones. The Bucks are giving up way too many easy buckets here, Marv. We're seeing some ball movement. Off the mark from downtown. 12 seconds to play in the quarter. Way too easy there, Marv. Five seconds left in the quarter. And fires one up. That's the first rebound by Mason. They'll review it. It appeared he got it off. In time, the official checks out the videotape. And halfway through this one, the Bucks lead by five. Here are the key players at the half. Bogut playing stiff defense. Very difficult attempt there, Marv, but he gets the ball to go in. Red from close range. Hamilton advances the ball. 
And this crowd has gone silent. Marv, they've sucked the life right out of this arena. They're on a big run now. He sets up on the left side. Excellent penetration there, Marv. He gets into the lane and finishes the play. Phillips from downtown. It's tipped home. Rashid Wallace. A strong finish. Phillips able to get the shot off. Looking for the open man. Mason able to post. To number three, Ben Wallace. First foul in the last He gets it to fall. And Desmond Mason makes both free throws. Hamilton right at the basket. To number eight, Joe Smith. First foul. It's good. And Rip Hamilton gets them both. And fires one up. The two's no good. Here's Red. One minute remaining in the third quarter. What great body control to be able to complete that play even while drawing the foul. The Pistons able to add one more from the line for a three-point play. Phillips is mad with nowhere to go. Here's Mason. Wallace showing the agility to challenge that shot Marvin boy I love this team's activity Phillips from downtown no good from three-point land nice move by Mason the shot clock is off thirteen on the clock Hamilton getting the step. He's stripped by Mason. Red from half court. And that's the end of the third quarter. The Bucks lead by four. Red firing. This is the two. Another board by Prince. Hamilton from up close. No good. Try to adjust in midair, but just too much contact on the play. Desmond Mason not able to hold on. Phillips hosting. Phillips with 11 points and three rebounds. Williams bringing it up court. The Bucks with the rejection. Ben Wallace. A beat, a beat. 
Hamilton with a layup opportunity. Setting it up on the left. Bogut posting up. Mark, we've seen it so often late in games. Offensive execution seems to be the difference between winning and losing. This is a critical possession. This team has to come out and get a good shot. Prince for three. Can't hit from downtown. Red at the rim. It's a beautiful shot there. Red, of course, the Ohio State product. Just a second round pick by Milwaukee, and I don't know if anybody envisioned him becoming the player that he is now, Marva. An all-star, one of the best shooters in the game, and truly the cornerstone of this club. The Bucks are all over their opponents. Hamilton from downtown. What a great shot, Marv. Defensively, that's all you can do. Contest the shot and hope for the best. A near turnover. Bogut has to hurry. Wallace really challenging that shot there, Marv, which really culminated a fantastic team defensive effort. Phillips with the shot. Marv, this is how you win basketball games. You challenge every shot and you compete. We're seeing some nice passing out there. The pass played perfectly by Prince. 11 seconds to go on the game. Five left in the game. Wallace goes in with a sweeping hook. The Bucks are going to talk things over, Marvin. I think they'd like to get the ball to their go-to man and have him attack the rim. This for the win. And it is ruled no good. So this game is headed to overtime. The Bucks look to set up their offense after gaining control of the tip. Red able to get the shot off. Here's the shot by Phillips. Red showing why he's an excellent defensive player, Marv. Really challenging that attempt. Nice crossover by Red. Throws it down. Nicely done by Red. Count it and the foul. And he'll try for a three point play. The Bucks able to take advantage of the three point play. Phillips directing traffic from the left side. Mason with a tight defense. What a move by Wallace. They move it around the offensive end. Bogut fires. Well, in a tight game, offensive execution becomes even more important, Marv. Wallace firing. Maybe not the best of shots, Marv, but somehow he got it to go in. Nice move by Mason. 
The pass stolen by Wallace. Marv, I like this timeout. This is a critical possession here. They've got to get a good shot off here and at the other end play solid defense. They know they're still in this game whether they score or not right here. And fires one up. Comes up empty. Grabbed by Wallace. And fires one up. Wow, what a shot. I don't know if it was the smartest attempt he's ever taken with his team down and under such defensive pressure, but he got it to go. Here's Red. Well, it's a lot easier to win close games down the stretch if you have such an explosive score. And fires one up. Maybe an ill-advised shot, Marv, but probably a result of terrific defense. Bogut shows the spin move. Bogut with eight points and four rebounds. Phillips for three, misfires from the perimeter. Can't hit the close one. Terry Stotts has to be very pleased with his defense, Marv. Very tough to score upon this evening. Well, smart play there offensively, Marv. Getting the ball to one of your best free throw shooters. Now you've got an excellent opportunity to close out this game. Two for two. Just over 11 seconds left in this one. What an advantage it is to have good foul shooters in the game late when you're trying to hold a team off. Now he's going to go to the line. He's got a chance to build this lead and really put this thing away. He hits both. The miss, and it goes out of bounds. We needed an extra period to decide the outcome. The Bucks take it. The final score is 55 to 46. Michael Red is the high man with 19 points. This is Marv Albert along with Steve Kerr from the Bradley Center.